So in the previous examples, we looked at simple Ashby queries, queries where a single condition was being evaluated by the computer. But queries are a lot more powerful than that. In fact, you can string together multiple query statements in order to create a more complex question. So here I want to look at what are called compound queries, queries that are essentially strung together using what are called Boolean operators. So let's look at the state attribute table again and apply some of these. So I'm opening up the, op the attribute table for the states layer again. And this time I'm going to try to use two different Boolean operators, AND and OR. And 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 OR are kind of uh, misleading because we use them in everyday language uh, kind of interchangeably. But in a computer context, in a GIS context, they have very specific meanings and they'll give, give you very different results. So let's start with the AND Boolean operator. So let's say that I want to know how many states in New England have more than 2 million people. Right? How many states in New England have more than 2 million people? So that's actually two questions from the computer's perspective. I'm asking which states are in New England, and then secondly, of those states, which of them have more than 2 million people. So what does that look like? Well, let's open up the Select by Attributes dialog window again. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put in both query statements, essentially. So the first one is subregion equals, and again, get unique values. New England, that's the first part of the statement. And then I bring in this AND Boolean operator, and then I'm going to put in the second SQL statement. In this case, population 2005 greater than, and then I said 2 million, so it's 2 followed by 6 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so what you're looking at here then is a SQL query that's got two statements that are linked together by this boolean operator. Okay, So what this is going to do is it's going to evaluate records and look for ones that are true on both counts, that are simultaneously true in both cases. They'll need to be in New England and they need to have this population. So when I hit apply, okay, we can see right away that two of our states met both criteria simultaneously. And if we use the select records button, we can see right away that was Massachusetts and Connecticut, the only two New England states that have more or had more than two million people. That was 2005. Okay. What would happen if we changed AND to OR? Well, let's try that. Call up the select by attributes dialog window again. I'm going to highlight the word AND here and substitute it with the word OR, okay? Another Boolean operator. So what do you think that's going to do? Well, let's see. I hit Apply, okay? And we see a lot more of the country being selected. Okay. In fact, let me drag that up a little bit so you can see it, All right? So 39 states, in fact. Now, you should notice right away that if you look in the subregion uh, column here in the field, you can see that it selected both New England and non-New England states, right? And that's because with an OR Boolean operator, what's happening is the computer's evaluating each record, and if a record meets one or other, either of these, or both of them, it's considered true, and so it gets selected. So OR, an OR uh, Boolean operator means either or both, and that's true, which is very different from AND, where both have to be true simultaneously. So you want to keep it really straight in your head which one will do what, because you'll get very different answers if you use one or the other. Okay, let me look at a slightly different situation. Let's look at two different subregions. So let me clear this for a second and say subregion equals New England or subregion equals let's look at the South Atlantic okay so this query statement here that's connected by the boolean operator says subregion equals New England or subregion equals South Atlantic okay well let's think about that for a second what is that 
asking or what is that asking to be evaluated? Well, it's saying look at all the records and find out which ones belong to the New England subregion or the South Atlantic subregion. Okay, so how many records are likely to be selected? Well, let's take a look. Hit apply. Okay, I see 15 records are selected. And if I look at the map, what I can see is that all the states in New England were selected, all the states in the South Atlantic subregion were selected, right? Because again, it's evaluating one or both could be true, and the whole thing is true, right? What would happen if I change the or here to and? I'll let you think about that for a second. Subregion equals New England and subregion equals South Atlantic. How many records do you think will be selected? Okay, let's see. If you said zero, you are correct, right? Because remember that and means that both have to be true simultaneously. And that can't be possible, right? Because the states belong to only one subregion. So they can't be both in one and the other. So there's no situation where both of these can be true at the same time. So again, keeping clear what AND does versus what OR does.